typical Friday day off, beginning of the weekend. One father is repairing a leaky roof with cement, of course, with his son looking on, learning how to do it himself. Over here, the lady putting out the wash on the balcony. This is winter, beautiful, sunny, and warm during the day, of course, at night. That's another matter. I believe this is the 22nd of January, 2016. Have a look up the mountain. All those are new buildings, hand-built. Up the side of the mountain. With excavations, digging into the edge to make level surfaces to build, oh, what are now 10-story towers without the usual construction towers, working with uh, electric pulleys to bring up the construction material, all applied by hand. Interior made of uh, cement and an exterior layer of stone squares, cemented into place. Well, the reason why the buildings are going up the side of the mountain rather than expanding the uh, limits of the municipality of Nablus here is because uh, the limits of uh, Sector A impose themselves upon the uh, demographics here because uh, there are no construction permits allowed by the uh, occupying uh, the military forces of the State of Israel outside of the uh, Sector A, which is very um, constrained, uh, limited uh, municipal area. And there, the buildings have reached the top of the mountain. Over there, there is actually a public park on the edge of the mountain. And on the top is, uh, as I mentioned before, the uh, local national bourgeoisie with a beautiful building, actually, dome on top, oriental influence, <coughs> and each side with uh, an Acropolis facade with the uh, Greek influence, which once, once was a uh, occupying power here in uh, Palestine. Palestine seems to be a favorite place to occupy. This is the old city ruins. I don't know if they're used anymore, but they probably are. They're sort of um, attached to the newer buildings. The old city is in the background there, and it's all used. All the narrow streets are filled with little shops, one after the other, which open into a cavern-type boutique or even <coughs> little shop uh, manufacturing stuff, like a little factory. There's another uh, video uh, tour with Mustafa Zizi going through the old city, you know, on the uh, 80 Man uh, YouTube channel. So here we have a supplement. Here I'll give you a close-up of the uh, local uh, green-domed mosque, uh, which in Arabic is not called a mosque, which in Arabic is called a uh, jaber.
Alright, I've got it in frame. The way buildings are built here, they're built to last. Like a thousand years, two thousand years. The old city there is two thousand years old, built during Roman times. I mean, Roman occupation times. And down the road is the uh, Blada refugee camp, which is built over the site of the original town here, which in biblical times was called uh, Sechem, or Session. Oh yes, there's lots of dogs, all of whom live outside. Animals are not allowed inside the house here. A lot of street cats. And they all survived the winter. Here's a, an old uh, television antenna. But of course, uh, the satellite disks are omnipresent. It's the local uh, Golden Dome. It's a replica of the uh, Al Quds uh, Dome of the Rock. See how sunny it is. It's incredible and warm. The sun, of course, is much warmer than it used to be with the global warming. <coughs> Putting out the wash there again, and uh, here's a very old building covered in uh, those little yellow flowers. Next to the satellite dishes, of course, showing what's called uh, uneven and combined development which for sure is operative here. <laughs> 